Kenya is a country that uh, is said to have a potential for mining and uh, we contribute or rather mining contributes a paltry 0.9% to the GDP of this country. However, it is a sector that does not uh, help our communities or rather they don't benefit. And it is for this reason that the Haki Madini coalition was formed, of which AWIC is a member. Haki Madini is formed right now of 19 organizations uh, that fall across civil society organizations, faith-based organizations, and others that uh, follow the cause of championing communities. And that is how we found ourselves uh, forming a coalition to ensure that communities that are affected by mining have a voice and agency. Haki Madini came in at a very critical time during the review of the policies, you know, the 1940 Mining Act. Um, of course, having the government really focusing now on the mining sector and the contribution it would have in the, in the economy. So Haki Madini came in strongly to, to strengthen communities to participate in that legislative processes and did an amazing job in really putting the community interests secured in the legislation, in the regulations, especially for the Mining Act. And also in uh, strengthening the capacity of communities on mining issues, a lot of the communities do not understand their rights, do not understand the interests of the different actors, you know, the private sector, the government in the mining space. And so Hakimadini has really been able to not only contribute to the community interest in the legislation, but also strengthen community uh, communities living in the mining areas to be able to engage um, positively and strongly in the, at the local level and even amongst themselves to clarify what do they want from this mining action, how do they collectively engage? The communities were organized, mobilized and organized into platforms, which now they continue to engage on extractive sector work, even without our active involvement. The formation of an alliance like Kuala Mining Alliance, which brought together different uh, partners and stakeholders in the mining space in Kuala County. And uh, even as we speak, uh, since it was uh, incorporated in 2018-19, that's when the alliance was established. Today, the Kuala people have an alliance that they can say, look, if you want to engage on anything around mining in this county, you have to go through Kuala Mining Alliance. So we look back and say, through the coalition, through the partners that are working together, led by Transparency National Kenya and the Kenya Land Alliance by then, we can see we have a platform that we've established which gives the community a platform to engage. A platform that advocates for justice uh, in the mining sector, both environmental justice, social justice, and also inclusion in decision making in the sector. Under Haki Madini as a coalition of civil society groups, we designed a program that we called Madinietu Madinietu, our minerals, our responsibility. And under that program, we engaged the Ministry of Mining to influence and inform the current, the, 20, the 2016 Mining Act. Actually, that was like a, a brainchild of Akimadin Coalition. Our unique contribution is creating that platform whereby we can have these um, civil society actors, government, uh, private sector, the development partners, you know, caucus and meet and have various discussions around uh, policy advocacy, um, capacity building, transparency and accountability and governance of the sector. Because at the core of our work is the communities and these communities are um, essential to the work that we do. So that platform creates an opportunity whereby um, these uh, all these stakeholders are brought together. We have been able to revamp the coalition based on the meetings that we have been able to convene and, and um, you know, trying now to rebuild uh, the partnerships that we have had with government and the d different uh, civil society um, actors. So I'd say one of the biggest achievements at KHRC we have been able to achieve through Hakimadini Coalition is re revamping the coalition and making it vibrant. And now we are seeing a lot of um, partners and organizations who are not previously not of members of Hakimadini who are now interested um, in joining the coalition and we've really seen its membership. The membership of Hakimadini is really growing because now more partners are becoming aware of Hakimadini, what it does, and therefore they want to join 
um, to join the coalitions and even communities now we are getting a lot of requests um, to even be part of Hakimadini. So I'd say the visibility also has, has really uh, enhanced. The network of CSOs has kept increasing. We are almost getting to around 30 CSOs and we are also looking at oil and gas in areas where we have gas and oil in this country. So the network has grown. We understand the situation at hand in relation to what communities are experiencing. We are alive to the law because last year we had a sitting to review the revenue sharing bill and we did our submission to the Ministry of Mining. And before then we had also done the, a regulation on the community the, uh, agreements because the Act provides that communities must be involved and there must be development of community agreements during mining. So Aki Mandin has been the champion, the lead champion into looking into legal framework and also making sure that the aspirations of the communities are captured in those legal frameworks that the country is developing. So we pride that we've been on the forefront and we continue to move forward. The launch of the strategic plan, which we did quite effectively, I think with that there is now a clear strategic direction on where we are going with the governance of natural resources in the country. And uh, of course, out of that, politically, uh, the coalition has been quite active now uh, since we, we took over the Austin and also since we got more resources from Oxfam. The current strategic plan for Akimadini, it's focusing on being community-centered. When you talk about the community, you're also talking about women. And that is where Hakimadini then plays a role in ensuring that there is inclusion of this segment, of this constituency, of uh, mining communities. Uh, at least now, in some mining areas, we have women who own mining pits, like in Taita, in Kakamega, uh, because we have sensitized through the initiatives, we have sensitized the communities and men to give women a chance in the mining sector. So the coalition has come strongly to to build, strengthen the, the, to deepen the knowledge of the communities and also support them in collectively organizing and occupying that space. So it's really supporting them to speak for themselves, but also to speak with them in solidarity around the issues of mining in a way that um, the companies get their profits, the government gets their revenue, and communities' human rights are not violated. At the same time, they also get their economic uh, benefits from the mining sector in Kenya. Most importantly, the information and knowledge and awareness on the laws that are there, like the Mining Act, to artisanal miners who for a long time had been considered illegal, so conducting illegal business. But with the current Mining Act, now they are, it's a legal uh, livelihood that uh, artisanal miners and small-scale miners can engage in. To the partners in the extractive sector, there is power in numbers. Uh, this is a good opportunity in which to come together and caucus um, mm -hmm. and see what the strategic plan has to offer in terms of uh, program and project implementation and also um, the opportunities for also the communities to actually reap from the benefits of um, having um, communities or having organizations that are you know well organized and they are put together and they've come together and also I think it's important that even as we have conversations with governments as we have conversations with stakeholders and uh, you know academia we speak with one voice and Hakim Adin is that voice so I'd urge them to join the coalition um, be part of the you know be part of the movement and be part of amplifying the voices of the community I think my call out there to people, I mean to communities, to the civil society and other institutions that are in working in the mining space uh, is that, uh, you know, as actors in that space, we need to work together. There's no way we can succeed if you're not working together. So we need to collaborate uh, both with the communities, the government and also other colleagues in their space. And uh, the platform that brings uh, us together is now Hakim Adini Coalition. Now this, is, this is a national platform, a national coalition, and we have seen a lot happening through the coalition. So I find it uh, one of the best coalition for people working in the mining space. So mine is to say, comrades, we've been doing this for 10 years. We can do this longer, but as united, we're inviting other civil society organizations to join us because if we continue working in silos, we're not going to get the intended impact. 
Kenya is now opening up to what we are calling transition and strategic minerals for the energy transition. The demand for minerals will come here. We have an opportunity to change the lives of our communities. So come and join us and let us do this together for another 100 years.